Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic. Welcome to the Pokemon Premier League Season 4. Jesus Christ, how have we got to Season 4 already? Week 1, this week we are up against George, also known as Sceptile MC. Not the easiest game to have as the Week 1 game, but, you know, I haven't ever won a Week 1 game in a draft uh, league. Might as well get George out of the way while I can. So you can see our teams on the screen. I've not got a team builder for you this week, unfortunately, because uh, I'm doing this at 10 to 11 Sunday night. I am going on holiday. I'll be on a plane in about 16 hours. Um, so I've got to travel to the airport and whatnot. So kind of in a rush to try and get this stuff out for you because uh, the upload day is now Mondays for Division 1 because that gives people the weekend to play because that's when most people could play last time. Anyway, you can see our teams. Uh, I'll quickly go over what I've got. I've got Choice Specs, Heliolisk. We've got Special Defensive Aromatis. Physically Offensive but Bulky Arcanine. Uh, specially Offensive Life Orb, Noivern. Physically Defensive Skarmory. And a Swords Dance. Uh, well, obviously, Physically Offensive uh, Mega Gallade. George has bought pretty much the team exactly what I thought. Uh, quick thing. When I was team building, I used the wrong team tab, so I didn't actually know he had a Crustle or a Typhlosion in his squad. Um, I knew I would I prepped for a Salamence, Jirachi, uh, Azumarill, P2, Sab Mega Sableye, and Tangrowth. He bought Hitmonlee instead of the Azumarill, which I was actually really happy about. I didn't actually prep necessarily for the Hitmonlee, but I have Noivern. Um, I can't be faked out with um, my Mega Gallade. Um, I have Skarmory. I've got Intimidate on Arcanine. And if he isn't Scarfed, well, he's pretty screwed. So. I was quite happy with what George bought because I prepared for pretty much all of it. It was just all about how the game could go down, really. I mean, looking at the teams, um, I knew there was going to be one sort of real way I'd win, and that was trying to get rid of Sableye as soon as possible. Now, with Aromatisse set, I have Calm Mind on it, um, in case he bought Calm Mind Sableye, so I could equal uh, it. And he also has P2 as well, so I can set up on that thing. Uh, once I get rid of the Jirachi on his side, Aromatisse has a lot of fun too. So, uh, reveal straight away I'm Choice Specs because this is, well, this is not an AV Tangrowth, which I was so delighted by. Um, that does nearly half, and that's a resisted hit. So, good job, Vinto. If I'd have clicked Hyper Voice there, I, I don't actually know. It might have killed. I haven't done the calcs, but look at me being dodgy. Uh, turn one of the first game of the season, I, mi I dodged the Sleep Powder, which is a uh, recurring theme hacks is in there, the starting of this uh, battle anyway. Uh, in comes P2, I'm just going to look at U-turn, because I was pretty goddamn confident he wasn't going to stay in. Um, I'm going to U-turn, I mean, I was running Flamethrower on this thing originally, because I expected him to, you know, sw switch into Jirachi if I had this thing in. But, um, no, I changed it to Shadow Ball in the end, because it would also hit Azumarill, which didn't even bring in the end. Um, in comes the Mega Galley, though, Kyber, and I, I spelt Kyber wrong, because I'm an idiot. It's meant to be an A. Um, never mind. Uh, Duck isn't going to want to stay in. He turns out he is max special defense, but it's I think it would still take close combat, but not very well at all. Uh, in comes the Noodle Man, the Tangrove. I was honestly expecting Mega or normal Sableye, but I guess because he isn't Megaed up yet, he doesn't really fancy taking a knockoff. And uh, I do get rid of this thing's Rocky Helmet, which suggests it's made to take physical hits a bit more. So I need to test the waters here, I need to do this close combat because uh, I have Swords Dance in this thing and if I'm going to have a chance of winning, I need to be able to know if I can kill this thing at plus two and at what sort of area. Um, now, because Meg Gallade is naturally super fat, I say super fat, it's got like base 115 special defense, we take the Giga Drain, he does heal up, um, I'm not sure if it's a roll as to whether close combat will kill it now, because close combat I would have said done about 50% last time, but I'm not going to take any chances. Uh, I figured that if he wants to put anything to sleep, it can be Noivern, because I do have Aromatherapy, so I can wake anything up. Um, and if he wants to go for Giga Drain again, I quad resist, so I was quite content with uh, switching in Noivern then. In comes Sableye. Now, I don't know if George is just unfamiliar with how Mega Sableye works. He clicks Recover. I completely understand why he did it. He obviously didn't realise that you get the Prankster um, buff, let's say, uh, with Mega Sableye uh, turn one. So he could have will o -Wisp me there or something, and you know, burnt me, but in hindsight it would have really mattered too much. To, uh, so he has Mega Sableye in, now I know that I have to bring in a Aromatisse. He cannot deal with Aromatisse very well at all. Uh, the only things he has for it is potentially Poison Jab with Hitmonlee, Poison Jab or Sludge Bomb with, or whatever with um, 
Tangrove. Jirachi oh, actually deals with it quite well, but uh, here I pull the double, expecting the Jirachi to come in, um, because I can't touch that thing. Um, but yeah, she brings in the... what's its face? Tangrowth. So I'm like, yep, I'm just going to click Flare Blitz. And I was pretty confident that his switch into this thing would be Salamence. Um, and he does get the Intimidate, but you know, Adamant Flare Blitz from Arcanine is going to do decent damage. Considering this is at minus one and it's a resistant hit, it still does about 25%, which is lovely. Um, if I had Stealth Rocks in this team, that would have been awesome, because this... The Salamence is a bit of a pain, honestly, uh, at the start of the battle. I want to keep this thing around. Uh, by the way, I have Pasho Berry on my Arcanine, and he didn't even bring a Zoom Roll, but it does come into play, you will see. I'm going to bring in the Skarmory, fully knowing this thing could have Flamethrower or Fire Blast. However, I was expecting Earthquake. He goes to the Draco and misses. Which suggests to me he's either well he's either going to be fully special or mixed because he I mean he'll he'll have Iron Tail on this thing I knew he'd have Iron Tail on this thing um, but he does switch out here and he goes into the Mega Sableye obviously expecting some hazards I do click Toxic mainly because I know if he switches into anything that isn't Mega Sableye uh, it gets Toxic and he can't I can't Toxic myself because I'm a Steel type so I mean I could have also clicked Whirlwind there to get myself some initiative but I'm going to switch straight back into the Blob uh, Aromatisse because it's what I have for this thing. Um, he does give the will o -Wisp, which is honestly fine by me. Um, it means I can't be to sleep, and it means I can't be toxic. I obviously will like to get rid of it uh, a bit later on, because it's residual damage, and I need my wall as healthy as possible. Um, he's not going to want to stay in, though. He goes into Noodle Man, and you can see here that Moonblast um, does... I think when I recorded George's side of the battle, it done exactly like 100 damage. And I think it was sitting at 107 HP right now, so I don't know if it was a roll, if I do Moonblast again it will kill, but if he Giga Drained he wouldn't have died, but he, he has to switch to get his Regenerator. But this Moonblast was actually crucial, and you'll see why later on. Uh, in comes Ducky though, now I honestly don't mind if he has sort of special defense P2, because he can't touch me if I'm when I start setting up Calm Minds. It's a bit early to start setting up Calm Minds to be honest, because he has still got fully, uh, full HP Jirachi in the back. Um, but I'm going to get off a wish, and to be honest, I can just start calm minding, or I can just aromatherapy away the burn. Um, I can't quite remember what I do here. I want to say I do just go for the aromatherapy, because the wish will get me back to full health. It goes to the try attack It does, like, 30 damage, which is absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm quite happy that I can just sit in, you know, and uh, just calm mind. If he does get the freeze with try attack that is, like, the only thing that can save him in the one-on-one. -on -one. Then he reveals Charge Beam, and he, he misses, so he's missed Sleep Powder, he's missed Charge Beam. Um, now, Charge Beam obviously wouldn't have done much, but he does get a chance to get in the Special Attack Raise. So I'm like, right, if you're going for that Special Attack Raise, um, I'm just going to play the game of, you know, Calm Minding, and I will win this fight, because he won't be able to do much damage to me, when I will be able to do a lot of damage to him. So, um, I think knowing this, I'm really expecting him to switch out here. Honestly, I'm expecting him to switch out into his Jirachi because three of his Mon on this team are weak to Fairy and one being Tangrowth that isn't weak. Uh, you saw how, well, not very well it took that Moonblast originally. Now, I click Moonblast here and I'm really happy I did because this Jirachi is on a Balloon um, and I do this much damage. This damage is crucial as well. So, Aromatis is getting a lot of crucial damage off and you'll see uh, why in a little bit. But I am now at full health. I'm not going to obviously want to stay in here because one, I can't do any damage to this thing, and two, Arcanine is pretty much a safe switch. You know when I said I had Pasho Berry on my Arcanine? This isn't exactly what I had in mind, but this is a Water Pulse Jirachi. Um, and you know what the Pasho Berry means? I take that like it's absolutely nothing. It does like 40 damage. So if he goes for another one, he pretty much can't kill me. I don't even think a crit would kill me. He's got a good chance of getting confusion, but he doesn't want to risk that. Um, he does go into the Mega Sableye. Now, two Flare Blitzes has a chance of killing this thing. But after the first Flare Blitz, it pretty much does half of the HP is left. Um, and I do get a burn. So, he's missed two attacks so far out of like ten turns, and I've got a burn with this thing. So, that guarantees the fact that I can kill him with another Flare Blitz. So, I'm just going to stay in a Flare Blitz. I'm... I was very sure he probably was going to go into Salamence, but if I had the chance to kill Mega, excuse me, Mega Sableye, what I did, I was going to take it. Um, I could have clicked Wild Charge here, you know, got some neutral damage off. Wouldn't have done much to this thing, but 
The fact this thing has leftovers is really annoying. I was really hoping I got another burn. Obviously, that would be completely unjustified and completely unfair on George if I did get another burn, but I was just kind of sitting like, oh, please burn. Um, but here I am going to switch out into the uh, Aromatisse. I did sit there and um and ah, I was like, he's got Iron Tail, he's going to do it. I could stay in and get another Flare Blitz off. And he goes for Iron Tail. And it does just enough to the point where it can 2 it KO me. He gets the defense drop, not that it really matters. I mean, it probably means that he can click Earthquake or something and kill me. Um, but that Iron Tail, I, I knew it was coming. And I could have switched into Skarmory, but I can't stay in here. And George, being the great player that he is, he knows that. I go into my Noivern expecting another Iron Tail or an Earthquake or something, expecting me to go back into my Arcanine. George's better than that. He knows that he can just click the Draco Meteor. If I'd have stayed in there and been an absolute man, I could have just killed this with Moon Blast. Um, but it doesn't matter because Noivern goes down. While it would have been extremely useful this game, it's not crucial. So uh, Noivern does go down, and uh, we are now six and five down. Knowing the results that have gone this, uh, what what have happened this week, I won't spoil any. Um, I was keen to start and get some kills uh, pretty soon. Now he doesn't know, George doesn't know that I don't have him power ice. I mean Thunderbolt will do a lot to that thing because obviously it's part of flying type. Um, I can just click Thunderbolt because he has not got a switch in apart from P2. Um, but I, this thing does carry Focus Blast, so obviously if you switched in P2 on that. Focus Blast from Choice Specs, Heliolisk, it would probably die in two hits. Uh, in comes the Hitmonlee. Um, I I could have stayed in, I was very sure he's probably going to go for the Mac Punch. Um, or at least the Fake Out. Um, I wasn't sure if it's going to be Unburden or uh, Reckless with High Jump Kick. Either way, I figured, you know what, Arcanine's probably done the most it can do this game. And uh, it's got Intimidate as well. Uh, it's not going to save me from the Light Bulb Reckless. I jump kick from this Hitmon Lee. But the fact that this Hitmon Lee is now taking down my Arcanine gives me a free switch into my uh, Mega Gallade. Now, I had to do this next play to have a chance of even getting back in the game. And thankfully, George switches. This gives me a free Swords Dance. I am jolly, I'm not adamant, um, which means, as I have seen, I think I've seen all his Pokemon now. He hasn't got a Choice Scarf Mon. I outspeed his whole team with this thing. Um, the Moonblast damage was crucial because it meant the Regenerator couldn't get enough HP back where he couldn't live a plus two close combat. This is where Mega Gallade starts to shine, people. Mega Gallade gets one kill with the close combat there. Um, now, I had Stone Edge on this thing over Ice Punch because if I'd gone for Knock Off and Stone Edge at plus two against Mega Sableye, it would have died with max defense. So I was like, right, I have to run Stone Edge. Thankfully, even though I'm at only plus one now, Stone Edge is going to kill Mints. I don't know if it was a bulky set or not, um, but thankfully it killed it. In comes Jirachi. I can't knock off because I've already got rid of this air balloon. I can close combat and that thing dies as well. So Mega Gallade is just clicking close combat and winning for me at the moment. Um, unfortunately though, I can't just get a straight up simple sweep because he does still have the Hitmonlee around. He has to click Mac Punch here because otherwise he just loses straight up and I need uh, my Mega Gallade because he still has that P2 around. P2 is at the point where Close Combat will kill without any sort of setup. Um, he does give the Mac Punch. Vimto is not needed at this point because I have Toxic on my Skarmory and I have, well, I still have my Mega Gallade. So in comes the Skarmory, easiest to play of my life. Well, I say that, it's really not easy to play of my life. I was just adamant I have to stay in and click uh, Brave Bird. If you want to switch into P2, that's fine. Um, because I will click Toxic if he switches after I click Brave Bird. I had to click Brave Bird to kill this thing, and uh, down goes the Hitmonlee. So all that George has left is the P2, and never rest on P2, guys, because because it's P2, it's disgusting and it's fat. Um, Brave Bird does bring me down to red health, but we are able to get some leftovers recovery back to 31. Now, I don't know if that's actually enough uh, to live a charge beam or not, but I'm like, right, I will probably outspeed this thing because I am a Skarmory. I, I'm not too terribly slow. I land the Toxic, which pretty much seals the deal. Because um, if he wants to set up, he's got a timer now. And he reveals Trick Room. And here I'm like, oh, shit. This this is bad. This, 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 is, this is not good. Um, So, I kind of thought, well, Skarmory could be handy later on. Um, plus, at this moment in time, he's not set up with anything. 
I can freely switch into Aromatisse. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and as you'll see, I don't know if this is like George's prep or if, if this is just sort of natural appearances, I, I guess. Um, he goes to the charge beam. He does get the plus one. Um, but this turn, I mean, after leftovers, I'm pretty much back to where I was. But obviously, he has the plus one special attack now. Which means, uh, I mean, I didn't do any calcs at this point because Toxic's just going to wear him down and down and down. Um, I click Wish because I outspeed! And I was like, oh, if I knew I outspeed, I would have just clicked Moonblast because that's all I have to do. All I have to do is keep clicking Moonblast because Moonblast and Toxic will beat Recover all day, every day. Plus, I have the chance of getting the special attack drop as well. So, um, he does give the try attack. It obviously doesn't kill me. I could have Calm Minded knowing that I was faster and just, you know, won that way, but. I don't really mind about differential at this point. I'm just going to click Moonblast because knowing that Moonblast, I mean, if he clicks Recover, I can live another Tri Attack afterwards. Um, but I know if I go for Moonblast, Toxic will take him out this turn. He goes to the Tri Attack. He does take down to Blob. I honestly don't mind because, you know, differential at this point of the season, while it's nice, not crucial, it's just more important to get them points on the board. P2 goes down to Toxic, and we do beat George 2 0 in the week one of season four of the PPL. Now, I was quite honestly shocked that I even managed to win because I never win week one. And uh, George's team is super scary, as you probably can see. So, yeah, it was a really good battle, um, apart from all the hacks, which um, did kind of spoil it a bit because George would have probably swept me away if, he, if I didn't get the hacks. So, I am really sorry about that, George. But hopefully you guys uh, appreciate the battle. Um, I... I I needed to get revenge on George anyway, because if you were around years and years ago, when I say years ago, probably like two years ago, um, it was me versus him in the final of uh, Foo Foom, John, well, John and Sam's uh, PU tournament. So it was nice revenge, um, and three points on the board already in one week of the PPL, so that's really nice. Um, I haven't really got much else to say. I mean, I'm on holiday now until Saturday morning from tomorrow evening. So uh, I expect my next game to be late because I will be team building on the Sunday and battling on the Monday. Upload day is Monday, so I might get out to you on time just a bit later in the day. Um, other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And uh, go check out George's side of the battle because I'm sure he has lots of insightful tips and stuff that he has to comment on from this game. I've been rambling. I will see you later. Bye.